Welcome back to the channel. And so last time y'all gonna see Nightcrawler clean because tomorrow, Monday, is gonna fucking rain. Nightcrawler gonna be all dirty, like damn. But yeah, neighbors, don't you just fucking love them? So, as I'm bringing Nikki back in here from walking her, I hear the bitch upstairs talking about, I think the girl downstairs' boyfriend's a drug dealer. He leave out with the dog early in the morning, every morning, and he gone for hours at a time. He gone for half of the day. He come back and gone again at night. She's like, I think he sell drugs because, you know, this and that. For one, I'm not a drug dealer. For two, I tried to sell drugs during my teenage years. It didn't work out. Well, a nigga paid me $100, and I stood on the block like 10 hours with a pistol on me. And, and, and duck, ducking the police because I got a gun and dope on me. But I got the gun on me just in case a nigga tried to try some shit. When a nigga paid me $100, I knew I knew drug dealing wasn't fucking because I ain't like that shit. Because I done did all this and all the fuck you gonna give me is 100. That's when I switched to the car side. But my whole thing is, bitch, I don't sell dope. For one, man, you fucking business. So, uh, and bro, this shit just, this shit just pissed me the fuck off. Like it really pissed my girl off. So I had to stop her from going up there because you finna go up there and beat the bitch ass. You know the bitch be trying to be friend you so bad, but she's actually sneaky. And her little, I don't know if it's her boyfriend or what. That motherfucker, he the same fucking way. They talking about calling in on a car that's parked on the block. It's been parked in front of the crib for like a week straight. For what? The car's not bothering you. And it's just like, what the fuck? Bro, I think, why Why the fuck people can't mind their fucking business? You know? Now, I'm thinking of some shit to do at the ass, but I'm going to wait until we get ready to move to hit the ass with it. Because I already know she's the one. This is like the, Nikki wouldn't be having to go to my cousin's house if she ain't calling and snitch on the shit. But my whole thing is, what the fuck, bro? The bitch be fucking... Uh, Y'all help me with this shit. How the fuck do you deal with some fucking neighbors like this? Motherfuckers make noise like they woke my girl up this morning. At 6 something making all this fucking noise. And she's like, bruh, I really want to shoot through the fucking ceiling at the ass every time they make noise. I just want to just cock that bitch back and just blow through the ceiling on their ass. You know, but, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the fuck to do, bro. Because they always on, you know what? He always doing some shit or talking some shit. How the fuck do you deal with some neighbors like these? That's why I need y'all help on because right now I'm really, really about to slide on the ass, about to creep on the ass. And it's like right now at this moment, I want to start kicking in, kicking in doors. I just want to go out there, kick they motherfucking door in with some young niggas and motherfucking. I know some little niggas that are running in a motherfucking house for an Xbox One. Or pay some little niggas $200 and they go up and they run up in that bitch. You know, I know some little niggas that, that you know, basically blow out their thoughts for a little or nothing. Just had, had get some stripes. But, like, bro, that shit just. I don't fucking know. I don't know. That's just like, you know, and, and she really started it after I got the car. And I got the Impala. And the shit just be fucking. I don't fucking know. Like, the shit just. I really think it's her calling 12 on me. I ain't a cop car. It is coming up to the six weeks. You know, that 12 gotta come check on me. So. You know, man. Mm. No, no, they might get their chance to come check on me next week because it's been it's been it's just it's been about six weeks. 
Since they last came and checked up on me. So, yeah. Yeah, man, I don't even know. Y'all drop in the comments, what the hell do I do? How the hell do I deal with these motherfuckers? Because, uh, honestly, I don't want my girl doing no dirt. I want her to keep her hands clean. I do the dirt. She keep her hands clean. Huh. The pun. And that's why I tell her all the time. I say, nah, you ain't going to, you with me, you ain't going to do no dirt. Your hands going to be clean. You know, I do the dirt because that's what I do. I know, I know how to do dirt and cover this shit up. And if it come time for somebody to take the ride, look, I'll take the ride. You stay here. You know. And that's why I be telling her, you know. And, man. Y'all drop in the comments. What the fuck should I do? Because I'm just really about to get on their ass. Oh, I'm about to get on that fuck shit with their ass. You know, so y'all drop in the comments. What the fuck should I do? I'll catch y'all in the next video. I'm going to be chilling out tomorrow in the house. Or oh, probably making a couple little runs before we go over to my mama's house for the barbecue. Because she barbecuing tomorrow. Y'all drop in the comments on what the, how the fuck should I deal with this? I'll catch y'all in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe.